In this video, I'll give a brief explanation of what big data is and a demonstration of an application that puts principles into practice. So first, uh, there's a lot of buzz about big data, but there's also some confusion. So is big data simply a normal database that is bigger? Uh, well, actually, no. There's a lot more to it, and in order to try and overcome this confusion, some of the analysts have decided to label it extreme data. Uh, but that didn't catch on in the market, and people still tend to call it big data. So they've attempted to explain that it breaks down into data volume, data velocity, data variety, and data complexity. So those are various facets of data that definitely do describe um, some of the components of big data. Uh, some of the drivers for big data have been described as sensor data and social data. Sensor being uh, your cell phone that's tracking your GPS signal, or your phone calls, let's say, um, your web logs, etc. So anything that is keeping a history of what people are doing. And then social data, obviously, is your tweets and emails and um, or actually more likely your public information. So your tweets, uh, your Google Plus posts, uh, and your YouTube videos. So the difference between these varied types of data, I think, break down roughly into structured data and unstructured data. And really what we're trying to describe is that in the past, we were best at processing structured data. And so that's what we focused on. And the tools were built around that, the relational databases. And we've come to recognize that it's not enough. And we do need to be tracking both a lot more data but also a lot more variety and complexity of data, which is more on the unstructured side, including the social data. And we need to derive value from the unstructured data as well as the structured. So I believe that you could describe the big data movement as a convergence of structured and unstructured data. You can see them both going into the funnel, and they're both going into the database, uh, both the structured and the unstructured. So let me show you an application that puts this into practice. So this is the unified search and analytics platform that we've created at Avalon. Uh, it starts from, with a history at, from our unified search platform, which is simply an application that captures our best experience in creating a search interface. So you can see this is a faceted search interface. We just pulled some, uh, some data in by going to the um, adverse events database. You could just search for that and uh, you can see here that the FDA publishes all of the adverse events related to drugs or medical equipment. Um, any, anytime somebody gets sick or dies, they put it in this database so that people can track and do things with it. So this is an open data set. Um, we ingested that information and created a faceted search experience. So you could search on any keyword, let's say cancer, and you can see uh, a dynamic summary together with each of the results, the drugs that were involved, what were the reactions, um, what was the uh, doctor's uh, indication, what did the doctor say that the person had. And you can, fa you can drill down into these results by any of the facets on the left side. So this is your classic unstructured data analysis application. Um, so let's look at a different type of ap application going over into the visualization side of things. I can drag any one of these columns over to the right side and it will give me a visualization of how the data lies in that, uh, across that facet. So for each of the values in that facet group. Uh, and so this shows me that most of the cancer related um, outcomes were other, followed by hospitalization and then death. Um, hospitalization is well over uh, twice as many deaths, so there's not quite as many deaths. Um, but what if we broke it down by gender, let's say? Things get much more interesting. You can see here that the other category is much less with the men. Uh, they have actually much more hospitalization, and they even have more death than the women. Um, whereas overall, you can see that the women tend to have more 
uh, reports, and you can see the numbers over here, 38,000 for the women and 18,000 for the men. Uh, but the, ten, the men tend to die more often. So very interesting uh, what we can learn about the data uh, by comparing the outcomes and the genders. Uh, now, so, so this, you, you might say, okay, but this is just your classic structured data analysis, like a business intelligence tool. And it is, um, where you're showing a chart that you can update with the information that you choose just by dragging it over. Uh, what's different about this application and what we believe makes it a big data analytics application is that you can come up here and change the search terms. Um, so let's say let's do a, a full Boolean search. I want to know about skin cancer um, or melanoma. So that will allow me to capture uh, all of the, all of the re related results. If I just search for skin cancer, it would not get everything. If I search for melanoma, it would not get everything. So a Boolean search gets everything that I'm looking for. Uh, and the chart updates, as you can see, it, it's a very different picture for skin cancer or melanoma. The numbers are very different than they were uh, for all cancers. Um, so let's try something different. What about for brain cancer? Again, the picture is very different. Uh, brain cancer actually has hospitalization as the first uh, most frequent outcome, and death is even ahead of other in the case of brain cancer. Uh, whereas with skin cancer, or all cancers, other was the first. Um, so you can see that uh, obviously these graphs are very different depending on what search terms we use. Uh, these search terms are filtering the results underneath these data points. So we're actually seeing the structured data that's associated with the results. Uh, in other words, we're searching the unstructured data and we're looking at the structured data. So we're doing a combination at this point where we are able to analyze in unison structured information and unstructured information. I'll be showing more in, in follow-up videos uh, make sure to join me next time when I talk about big data analytics.